friends this is shraddha welcome to early learners and right brainers and today's topic is going to be how to create your own flash cards on a mobile phone within 5 minutes you will need a google chrome for it or a normal google you will have to search for high end wallpapers with white background so now i'm going to show you how to do it now you have gone to the google and search for high end wallpapers of a fruit called as papaya without any background or with a white background so here i get a lot of information or a list of images for a papaya now on my own choice i decided few of the images and i have taken a screenshot of it so you can see there are so many other uh, you know pictures you can choose whichever is good for you and your child once you select that take a screenshot i think most of the phones have this feature of taking a screenshot so take a screenshot and adjust the screenshot as per the image now i have a vivo phone so we have this feature of taking a screenshot of a particular size of an image so i just have saved it now i'm going to show you another search and this search is going to be of a mango again here i am searching for a high hd mango wallpaper without a background or a white background whatever keywords you use both are going to work for you here i have selected a small mango again with my screenshot so this is how you search a mango which looks very real so you want all the images to be real and you will get most of them on the google now here is a custard apple now there are two choices whether to show only one google uh, only one custard apple or many i have taken many custard apples so this is a custard apple that i have selected you know you can take screenshots in a square way or a rectangular way as per your choice the thing is that when you create the ppt it gets all adjusted the main agenda or the main purpose is that the images should be as real as possible also make sure that your children are able to see how the custard apple or the apple looks in real now here i'm going to search for another set of custard apples and finally i liked this one what happens is sometimes some images if you just search they appear as as per your need but sometimes you have to click on the image and then a subsequent images list opens up at the down and you can select any of the image from the down list that you can see now here i am searching for a high hd sweet lime now in this sweet lime i first got apple research sometimes i have to you know refine it because i used a keyword apple so apple was given more preference so again i removed the apple and then a sweet lime search request brought up in the main screen so here i have taken this particular sweet lime in a example if you can see there are so many sweet limes available and some of them have gray background so if at all you are not absolutely getting any of the images as a white background then you can use something called as remove background which will be a good application to remove anything that is there in the background now here the apple apple is very good so i clicked on the apple and then there were so many other images that brought up in the list so i choose the one that appear to me as real as possible now here i'll see a banana now the banana uh, image is so good that as soon as you search you will get a banana that doesn't have any background at it it will be only white in color so you can use that particular one going ahead there are so many other examples now i'm going to show you an example of a kiwi so you know when i searched it first i did not like any of the image one image i liked i clicked on it i just went down and down and down and then i selected the one that quite was real in in my eyes so i just selected that one so this particular one then this got saved and again i'm back now i am searching for a chiku and i found many many research for it the one i liked i'm going to use it as a screenshot again this particular one this looks very real in my eyes now i'm going to show you a doctor see now here all the doctors have some blue color background in it this one did not have any background so i just clicked on it and there popped up many other doctors with white background so i selected this particular one this appears to me very good because there are nothing or, or no information at the background so serves my purpose 
now i'm searching for an engineer engineer searching was quite difficult i could found only this one this guy but then there are checks behind him so i so clicked on it and i got some other engineers in the search at the drop box at the bottom side so i selected this particular one so you need to keep on searching for the images that are best now i'm searching for places now there is a catch when you select famous places these images cannot be without a background they will have background if you want to remove the background you can use remove.bg.com i'll give you the link of that particular application which removes all the background uh, color but then that doesn't look real so for fast like famous space uh, famous places or fascinating places or places of india or places in the world you should use the real image like whatever background is there you should use now all these images that are available on youtube or available on google they are licensed ones so maybe when you take a screenshot of it they appear as blurred so the one i have taken looks quite blurry so you need to keep on searching for the right image so that when you take a screenshot of it it doesn't appear to be a blurred one so i've taken it as an example to show you in the subsequent time of this video now i've taken few of the other places that are there in in the world so just an as an example so this one i have selected and i think this one looks good later on so here i am searching something else i'm searching for birds so here the birds are having their own background so the background we cannot remove in this particular thing if we want to remove we should use remove.bg but i'm searching for some images that automatically have a white background in case of pigeons i have seen there are always black background at it or a blue background at it so it was a bit tricky to search for a pigeon then what i did was i was keep on you know looking for images of birds so then i thought of using a love bird so i got one love bird image i tweeted the i just tweeted the wordings of the search like hd wallpaper birds without background or with background and then i found this love birds then i selected them blue birds are always in pair so you have to select two birds birds are always flocking together so it's okay to have two birds in frame as per me if you feel that no you should have only one bird then you can select one so here my search goes ahead and i keep on searching for pigeons somehow i like pigeons so i wanted to show you a pigeon and then i selected an image that has a pigeon in it there are two pigeons but i have selected them this is how the searching is there you just have to have a phone and it should have a screenshot player in it you can take screenshots if your phone doesn't have a screenshot uh, player then you'll have to download from the google store or your apple store so that the screenshots are taken now the images of rose are very tricky when it comes to google most of them are licensed and when you take a screenshot of them they appear very blurred so you need to be careful i have taken this image just to show you as an example then i have also taken a lotus lotus you will see there are so many background colors on it but i have chosen the one which has by white background so this particular one that i have chosen is the only one where i saw there is no background not even a leaf this one yeah so this appears to be quite a real one so now i am again just trying to help you with some another flower this is a daisy here i have taken a screenshot which is a rectangular screenshot because the shape of the flower is such that i had to take a rectangular screenshot so you can ask me like why i am taking a screenshot with a rectangular space will it not affect in my ppt well it doesn't so it's okay to use a rectangular or a square screenshot so all this gets fine when you do a ppt i'm going to show you how to do a ppt from your gallery itself if you have that feature most of the android phones have it for apple phone i'm not sure because i have a an android phone if you do not have android phone and you have a ppt normal one or you have a apple phone then you can have 
PPT, you downloaded Microsoft PPT and you can just paste all these images. Now I have gone to my gallery, I have selected all the images. Just see all the images I have selected. Okay, one by one I am selecting them. Of all the screenshots were there. So I have taken some 19, 20, 22, 23, 24 items. Generate PPT. Generate PDF. That's it. It automatically creates. See some of the prints that I have taken. They do not have the white background. They have grey background. Some of the images. Like the lemon. Another. This one. So we'll just see how to check them out. One minute. I have taken some wrong examples purposely just to tell you what we should not have okay so all of them i'm showing you what all i have taken peacock peahen pigeon so all this image appear to be quite real i have saved the you know the file pdf as instant flashcards now the generation of PDF is happening and I have saved it. Now I'm going to view it. So I can view it at, as per a speed or as per my choice. So the papaya looks good. It's good for use. Now I'm going to show you a mango. Mango is good too. It's custard apple is not. Lemon is not. Apple is, banana is, chiku is, kiwi is, doctor is, engineer is. This one is not good, the Taj Mahal. See, it is pixelated. This one is good, this one. See, the rose was pixelated. All the other images are quite good. We can good, we can use them. You saw how I was able to create flashcards so instantly. You can print them out or you can just show it to your kid as it is. We should avoid something that has grey background but it is okay to have white background for your flashcards that's it you just select an image you take a screenshot and then you paste it on a ppt or a generate it from your mobile phone it's the most simple way to create your own flashcards hope you liked it hope you liked it please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much